Um, my name is Ryan Martinek. I am currently a server at a family Italian restaurant, um, and I live in Bellingham, Washington, uh, and I'm 26 years old. What's special about your area, and how can I describe it? Um, I would say it's really unique because there's a lot of nature, um, amazing trails, lots of lakes and ocean. Um, they also kind of meet the forest. Um, there's a really talented community full of artists and kind of eclectic interests. Um, lots of biking. Um, it's also really close to Seattle, um, Washington, and Vancouver, Canada, um, which makes it kind of a unique um, place. You have a little small town with a bit going on and then big cities um, close by as well. So. It's quite cool. Can you describe how you spend your day? Um, I would say it depends on the day. Um, I have kind of a unique schedule um, in that I work primarily in the evening. So I um, these days I have a puppy and we go on lots of walks and um, get outside with friends. Um, go swimming. I really like uh, slow mornings because I'm much more of a, a night person. So probably uh, lots of coffee <laughs> and breakfast. Um, what else? Walking around. Um, yeah, the summer is really different than the winter because there's a lot, it's just a lot more enjoyable to bike around and everything. Um, and then Usually I work later in the evening if I am working that day, so I kind of try to play a lot during the day and see people and then go to work for a couple hours and then maybe um, spend more time with friends or my boyfriend or go out um, and see music or watch a movie. Kind of totally depends. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of all over the place. <laughs> So the next question is, did you already know what you wanted to show us when you got the camera? And uh, I think yes and no. I, um, I guess taking pictures in a place where I live is not very commonplace for me because I tend to take more pictures traveling. Um, so it was a little more challenging to kind of um, bring the camera with me everywhere or maybe um, and these cameras also had more photos than I was used to with the disposable so it was um, a unique challenge to try to like bring it with me and take into account how many photos that I had taken um, but I definitely nature was a big thing that I wanted to show in the photos and then also just probably some of the everyday silliness um, I think there's some silly photos of friends and that kind of thing too. Um, so a little bit of both. I would say from what I remember of the pictures, um, there's a fair amount that are out in nature. Um, tried to remember to bring the camera with me um, just kind of everywhere I went um, to some of my favorite places in town. Um, I also tried to capture, I know for myself when I've had disposable cameras I really like capturing like the silly party moments or these ridiculous um, kind of experiences with people so I think there's probably some kind of weird um, photos of friends and that kind of thing and then I also I tried to be um, a little more bold uh, in my home with taking photos because I know when I'm traveling that's something I like to do I like to approach people and see if I can take their picture or, or you know or even maybe go out there more with um, with kind of the places I go so I tried to do that um, more with this camera as well just like approach some strangers and see if I could take their pictures uh, because the humans in this area are also important, um, just like the nature and everything. So uh, I think overall it should be an interesting mix. I'm excited to see how they turn out, uh, especially because I've forgotten what some of them even are. I think I mentioned before, I really enjoy um, film cameras. I 
I had them when I was growing up as a kid and I kind of got into taking more pictures with film recently and then um, had a couple experiences where I'm, I'm not the greatest at it and or I'd have someone else take a photo and it would turn out really bad. So I kind of switched in the past couple of years to taking um, photos with disposable cameras because it seems easier for most people um, to take a photo with them that comes out okay. Um, so for me, this project was kind of like right up my alley. Um, and then, what is the best advice you can tell a tourist in your city? Um, I would say to, yeah, really, um, go walk around, go on the trails, um, get in the water, um, probably just talk to anyone here because at Bellingham it's such a small little town that everyone is quite friendly overall. Um, I definitely think it's a town full of travelers or people that have that kind of spirit. Um, yeah, just go wander around I think and especially in the wilderness if you can. Um, and then, I mean, I'm always such a fan of like cafes and eating and bumbling around on the streets anyways, so that's probably what I would say to do. And then a last word before people get to see um, the pictures. Uh, I guess I hope you enjoy them and I encourage um, you to take photos or try it out, especially with disposables. They're really easy and fun. And, um, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm just really excited to see the series overall, and I hope, um, I hope everyone enjoys everyone else's work, and I think the project is a really amazing, um, thing and a really unique way of traveling, so I'm so, so happy to be involved, and, uh, yeah, excited to see what's next. Thank you.